the heart! Yes! We're approaching planet Wolfman! <laughs> You need to keep giving me assist! What are you? I'm inside the dungeon! Open the door! <laughs> Bro, what the hell is this? You know what I actually look like right now? A Tesco Rabio! You know when you pour him a cafe in a BB-8 mug? <laughs> boss! Boss! Boss something, boys, and welcome to Julian Rackler goes to PSG, the Transfer Squad episode! Hopefully you guys are having an incredible day. Hopefully Weekend League isn't killing you guys. I have not played any matches today. A lot of people are saying that the servers are incredibly, incredibly laggy. A lot of people are dropping games. Um, I'm currently 13-5, and five, which is the best start that I've ever had to Weekend League. I'm on projected to go Elite 3, but we know what projected means. Doesn't mean anything. You have to actually do it. You have to put your hands on the controller and get to whatever you want yourself. Again, I have been uh, aiming for gold one every week. Feel like this might be the one I, I can do it. Feel, feel like this might be the week that I can get it done. We're gonna see though. But in this episode, like I was saying, the transfer rumors are in full swing. EA released the latest batch of transfer players in FIFA 17, and that includes Charlie Musonda going from La Liga back to Chelsea. So thinking about possibly doing an episode on him. And like I always ask in these videos, you guys know around this time of the year, I do the transfer epis where we have the transfer cards in their new club and see how they play in FIFA. So you guys have to spam the comments. Let me know which ones you guys would like to see. I'm thinking about doing a Charlie Musonda one. Uh, because he has got a Chelsea card right now. Not sure what he's going for, but I would be gladly doing an episode if you guys would like to see that. Have a couple other episodes. Inform Lukaku, the 87 overall, and Harry Kane as well. You guys voted on that one yesterday, so I will check the comments for that. But like I said, in this episode, boys, we're going to be focusing on Julian Laxler. He has gone to PSG, one of the more high-profile slash controversial signings. Got, to, got off to a really good start with Schalke, obviously very promising. Has played decent for the German national team, especially in the Euros uh, in 2016. But hasn't really lived up to the hype. Very controversial. Last, uh, before the start of last season, he wanted to move away from Wolfsburg. A lot of people were targeting Arsenal the last transfer window, as well as this transfer window. A lot of people thought that he was possibly going to make the move to Arsenal and join some of uh, join Mesut Özil, his German national teammate. But that did not happen. He has gone to PSG. A lot of people call them the China of Europe, you know, because they have the big spending and they, they splash the big bucks on all the players. I believe it was a 35 million euro uh, transfer deal. It's not confirmed. Both sides didn't disclose what it was, actually was, but the rumor is that it was around 35 million with 10 million in bonuses if he plays to a certain level. But uh, he has gone to PSG. Whether or not that's the right decision, maybe you guys let me know in the comment section below. I think maybe, you know what, in his case, a change of scenery. Didn't look like he was doing much in the Bundesliga. Um, didn't look like he was very motivated to do much there. But uh, yeah, maybe a change of scenery is what he needed. We've seen it with Balotelli, we've seen it with Falcao, uh, where they go to a different league and then they revitalize their career. So hopefully, Julian Blackstor can do that. This is the squad, boys. We've got team of the group stage, Frozen Cavani, flanked by striker Di Maria. We've got Julian Draxler, the new arrival, Verratti, Krakowiak, Matuidi. We've got Thiago Silva and Marquinhos in the middle, and then Aurier, and then SBC Kurzawa on the left, who we haven't used extensively. We've got Trap, we've got Pards in there at manager. And one thing that I actually didn't know about PSG is whenever they make a new signing, apparently you have to sing a song in front of the club. Without any further ado, boys, I present to you the greatest singer in footballing history. I Hey. <laughs> Holy shit. But anyway, boys, if you guys are hyped for the transfer window, if you guys do enjoy the episode, smash that like button as well. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below as well. Instagram and Twitter links can be found there if you guys want to interact with me there. We're going to get into a couple matches, see if Julian Laxler with the new PSG side can ball out. Los Gates. Here we go, match number one. He's got Glitch Signe. He's got Dybala Quadrado. He's got Nangolin, Snake, Marquisio, uh, Monolis Perez. He's got Sandro Chiellini. And he has got himself Buffon in net. Crazy looking side, boys. Crazy looking side, boys. Let's see if Julian Draxler's up to the challenge. Come on, Deeper. Hell, dude, my chest feels like it's about to come out of my body. That should have been Glaxler's, but Di Maria is there. Clean up an aisle fish. Come on, boys. <laughs> what a shot. Dude, Dybala. Of all the players I come up against, he's one of the most difficult players to contain. 
What a shot from Dybala, bro. I can't even hate. Of course, it happens at the end of the 45th minute. He draws it level. Pretty even match outside of the possession. Feeling pretty good with the way I'm playing. Draxler has been pretty impressive. Doesn't have himself the goal. Doesn't have himself an assist yet. But have been pretty impressed with the way the, the squad is playing. I attribute it largely to the formation. But we'll see if we can maybe turn it up and get Draxler some crazy, crazy goals. But we'll see if we can maybe turn it up and get Draxler some crazy, crazy goals. When I tell you, it's gone. Bro, Dybala, what the... What's up, guys? The Panthers here, and welcome to another episode of Wage Wars. Today, the... Oh, Di Maria! Center back. Go to Denver, boys! What's up, guys? The Panthers here. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? I think I was trying to do the big man, and I'm doing the thumbs up. Beautiful send from Young Blackstar. And Di Maria, touch perfect. Come on. So freaking OP! No keepers getting to that, man. Had an assist and no goals. Di Maria, literally Di Maria was the main guy. All right, match number two, roll on. Dude, that was absolute shit horse. Match number two, he's got informed charisma. He's got legend Lando. What the hell, bros? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little bit better. If you don't know about Deco buying our room, that's check all out the Wow! That was nuts off the post. It literally hit the post in the craziest way. It looked like it almost like stuck to the left post there for a second. With a Verratti send-in, you know that there's a good chance, especially if you're sending it into Cavani with the heading capabilities, you know that that's gonna go in. <laughs> Di Maria has been a stud for us. Three goals in, uh, three goals in just like one and a half matches already. Come on. Okay, so I'm up 2-0, and I'm feeling pretty good about the way I'm playing right now, so I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. One, I, for the longest time, like, I've never really done a true series on my channel, but I'm seeing that everyone else is, like, doing series, so that's kind of, it's kind of inspired me. I've kind of thought to myself, you know what? How could we do like a series, but in a sick way that would fit the channel? Because I'm not that guy that you go to for like bronze pack method uh, advice. I'm not that guy that you go to for investment advice in FIFA. I've never been that. I'm more gameplay oriented, love playing the game. A lot of people are really frustrated with FIFA 17. It's probably one of my favorite FIFAs to date. I would say definitely a top three FIFA, if not uh, number one. I think they've really got the perfect blend. Obviously it's a video game, so crazy stuff's gonna happen, but I will say it till the day I die crazier stuff happens in real life than it does in FIFA. Like, the goals, like the crazy stuff, the own goals, I guarantee you, you're gonna see crazier stuff happen in real life than you do in FIFA. And if you have seen something crazier in FIFA than you have in real life, feel free to tweet at me. Halftime, we have- And, okay, well, we not only have we dominated, we've called just caused a rage quit. Cavani gets a goal, Di Maria gets a goal. Outstanding, outstanding performance from this full PSG side right now. Uh, seven shots, five on target, zero shots on target for him would understand why he rage quit was just completely getting dominated. Let's get the match number three. Let's see if we can keep it up. Here we go, third and final match. He's got a center forward Christian Eriksen, an inform Mane, inform Braithwaite. Some of my favorite players in the game. Crazy, crazy looking squad. Haven't, can't remember the last time I came up against the false nine formation. Always scares me when I see them because I just assume that these guys know exactly how to use it. But like I was saying before, we were so rudely interrupted with that rage quit. Um. A series has been something that's been on my mind for a while. Like, again, like I'm not that I'm not that channel that's gonna help you with investments. Um, like yes, I pay attention to it a little bit just because I'm in a in a Discord call with Nep and, and Bates and, and Nick and they're always about that. Not so much Bates, but um, definitely Nep and Nick always talking about investments and stuff like that. And I guess more of an informative style of uh, of channel. But I have wanted to do a series where we like go on an adventure throughout an entire year of FIFA. But I just really don't know how to structure it because I wouldn't be a specifically, you know, like bronze pack method. Like it doesn't get that deep for me, you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd like to do it in a fun way that would kind of be how the channel is, if that makes sense. So I always like defer to you guys when, I, when, I'm, when I'm looking for ideas because I honestly think that you guys are like 10 times smarter than me. When it comes to like ideas and stuff like that, 
I guess I come up with some like nutty intro ideas and um, you know I look for players to do feature bets on and obviously I watch football so I try to be you know topical and like have players that are relative to like what's going on in the actual football world but when it comes to like series and stuff it's very difficult for me to get a grasp on it and figure out exactly how I want to structure it so maybe if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comment section below because I definitely would like to start a series of some sort where I go through divisions and uh, you know start with from something and then start from nothing and then get to something not exactly from zero but like maybe packs or something like that I don't know maybe you guys let me know you guys can see I'm already dragging on you guys maybe let me know of some ideas for a series maybe like a series name um, uh, that I could possibly do but let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any ideas for a wow what a save from trap if you guys have any ideas for a sort of series that I could do Well, that's not a good start to match number three. Yep, he knows how to use his Christian Eriksen. Oh, come on! No Kraxler, boys! 1-1! One, one. Wait, how did that actually go in? I took that with Kraxler. Dude, that was just... A dick goal. A Cavani Shea the Horde dick goal, boys. I mean, like, stats-wise, yes, I guess I deserve it, but he's had some high-quality opportunities. My pass accuracy, 90%. Really, really actually pleased with how that's happening. Krikoviak's been great. Verratti's been solid. Matuidi's been okay. Kind of disappeared. Cavani and Di Maria have been our goal scorers. And Julian Draxler's just been overall... Just an overall well-rounded card. Let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can maybe win this thing 4-2. Decisive, decisive victory. Come on. One from Cavani from there, you know that's freaking jumping in! 3 1! <coughs> There's the 4 1, the Julian Draxler dead fish. Come on! Wow! It started out looking scary. I went down 1 0 early. We go ahead and we win this thing 4 1. That's how you want to end the final match. The third and final match. Lose match number one. Uh. We win match number two, cause a rage quit, and then match number three, we win in a decisive fashion. Julian Draxler looks like, based on how he played in FIFA, looks like he's going to be very promising for PSG. Played well for me, 9.1 rating, got himself two goals, and did not supply any assists. I thought he might have applied an assist. Te technically, that goal that Cavani scored was assisted by Draxler, but that was actually a deflection. Probably should have been the third and uh, final goal to complete Draxler's hat trick, but at last it was not meant to be. Really pleased with the way the squad played. Again, the formation has not let me down so far. 13-5 and five in Weekend League. Really looking forward to and also sort of dreading going back in the Weekend League given what everyone is saying about the servers. But uh, yeah, definitely going to have to crash into those games. See how we freaking finish. We'll definitely update on Twitter how I do. But anyway, boys, that's the PSG Yulia Draxler episode. If you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And like I asked, guys... If you guys do want me to start a series of some sort, maybe let me know in the comment section below. Give me some ideas. I'm thinking maybe some like sort of thing where like I'm the club manager. It would have to be something where I have an intro where like at, in the beginning of every episode I'm like the manager and like we're introducing maybe new signings and stuff like that. Just make it very funny and jokey as opposed to making it really, really serious about, okay, we're going to squeeze out every little coin from our player contracts and that sort of thing. So maybe you guys let me know in the comment section below. But that is going to be the episode. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. See you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, adieu.